Hello everybody, and welcome back to the Unity Endless Runner series. Now, in the last episode, we learned how to move Ethan forward so that he doesn't topple over. So in this episode, we are going to place obstacles, and we're going to have it so that Ethan can move around the obstacles, or basically dodge them as he's going forward on the surfboard. So let's start off by placing some obstacles. So... We are going to hit create, 3D object, and let's just say a cube for now. And I guess we'll just we'll just place these anywhere. And let's see. Aha, there we go. So let's give it a material. And let's make it not purple. Let's say blue. So, we will make this blue, switch the smoothness down to zero, and we will drag and drop onto our cube. And now we're, now that we're, now that we are starting to make a lot of objects in our project, we're going to make a new folder called materials, and we are going to put all of our materials in there. Materials, and while we're at it, let's create another folder for scripts, and move our scripts in there because, well, our only script in there because I'm sure that we will have more scripts as we go along, and let's just let's just duplicate this cube here. Control D, do something like that. Control D and something something like that so Ethan so Ethan has to dodge these cubes here so let's see what happens when we hit play and as you can see Ethan gets knocked around when he hits a cube and we don't want that so we are going to edit our player movement script so that Ethan can move left and right and dodge these cubes. So let's go into Mono Develop and see what happens. Okay, so we are in Mono Develop, and I think what we are going to do is to make this game unique. Let's have it so that Ethan is hopping on his surfboard left and right. So it's not just a smooth movement. We'll have him hop. So what we want to do is first create a rigid body because we're going to be moving this rigid body, so we have to tell the script that there's a rigid body to move. So, public, rigid body, whoops, rigid, make sure that that is capitalized, and we will say rigid, we will call that rigid. So, in void start, we want to identify this rigid body, so rigid equals get component rigid body so we're going to do that okay that's good and now in update we are going to select the A key and whenever we hit the A key whenever the A key is down Ethan is going to hop to the right so we are going to put this in an if statement so if input dot get key down get key down and then key code key code dot a since that's there it's very convenient actually key code a open bracket and let's close that bracket right now so we are going to put a velocity on Ethan so we're going to do an upwards velocity and a velocity to the right. So we are going to type rigid, which calls our rigid body, dot velocity equals new vector three. And these are the coordinates as to what our velocity is going to be. So we will say zero for the x axis. Let's say two for the y-axis because that's going to be his upward motion because if he's moving to the left without any upward motion the friction might cause him to topple over just like 
just like we saw in last episode. So we're going to put 2 for the y. And then let's try 3 and see what happens. We don't know if this is going to work yet, but let's just go back and test it out. So now that we have the A key, we are going to select the D key. So basically just copy and paste this. And for key code A, we're going to type D. And then for this, for the, y, or the Z axis, we are going to type A negative 3. Okay, let's save and test it out. Waiting for the spinning wheel. Spinning wheel's gone. All right, see what happens. Well, actually, let's move this forward a bit so that Ethan has some time. Can move Ethan back a bit. Okay, so this might take some adjusting because... We don't know what's going to happen, but let's find out. Okay, so Ethan's moving forward. Whoa. <laughs> Alright, so Ethan's going into the abyss right now. So let's actually get rid of these cute... Well, not get rid of them, but let's just move them forward a bit and see what happens when Ethan moves without any obstacles, because I think the obstacles got in the way there. Okay, so let's hit play. Okay, so I'm going to move to the right. Okay, so I think what we need to do is first, let's widen our ramp a bit. Because I think Ethan needs some more space. And then, while we're at it, I think Ethan is toppling over a bit some more. So let's make his surfboard a bit wider. There we go. Okay, let's hit play. Okay, so I'm going to hit the D key. Okay, so it seems like there's too much force going to the right. So we're going to go back into Mono Develop, And we are going to change the 3 to, let's say, a 2. And let's see what happens. So save. Okay, back in Unity. And let's see what happens. So we hit the D key. Okay. It seems to work. I think we need to make Ethan's surfboard a bit wider. So unfortunately that's how it is. Let's make it a bit longer too. Just so it looks more like a surfboard. Not that it looks like a surfboard currently. Okay. So... So as you can see, the cubes do mess him up. They mess up his movement. Okay. So currently, I'm not exactly sure how to make it so that Ethan doesn't topple over. But we can get to that in the next episode when we optimize his moving around. Okay. So now that we are dealing with his movement, let's make him jump. So we're going to go back into Mono Develop, and we are going to do an input for the spacebar. So input get key down get key code dot space, and basically this velocity will just be on the y because he's jumping. So let's say five for the y. Let's save that. Go back into Unity. Okay, let's see. Hey! He jumps. <laughs> okay. So there you have it. So he can jump, and he can move left and right. The left and right functions aren't really completely working well, but we will get to optimizing that in the next episode when I figure out what's going on there. Okay, that is this episode for the progression of our Endless Runner series. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already, and I will see you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.